Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer at Church of the Nativity. You may follow along with the order of service using the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 115, by visiting the Book of Common Prayer online at bcponline.org, or by following the link to the Complete Service Bulletin listed above the video. Let us begin our time together in silence. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. O God, make speed to serve us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm appointed is 84 verses 1 through 6. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and a longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose stretch is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. You will say on that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger turned away, and you comforted me. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say on that day, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord for he has done gloriously. 
this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. reading from 2 Corinthians. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. But just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with scripture, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we speak because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. Here ends the lesson. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, verses 44 through 48. Then Jesus said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures, And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. 
You are witnesses of these things. Here ends the reading. Tonight we remember Samuel Isaac Joseph Skarzewski. The story of Joseph Skarzewski is unique in the annals of the church. He was born on May 6, in 1831, of Jewish parents in the Lithuanian town of Taragin. His early education was directed toward the rabbinite, but during graduate studies in Germany, he became interested in Christianity through missionaries of the London Society for promoting Christianity amongst the Jews and through his own reading of a Hebrew translation of the New Testament. In 1854, Skaroshevsky immigrated to America and entered the Western Theological Seminary in Pittsburgh to train for the ministry of the Presbyterian Church. After two years, he decided to become an Episcopalian and to finish his theological studies at the General Theological Seminary in New York City, from which he graduated in 1859. After ordination, and in response to Bishop Boone's call for helpers in China, Skaroshevsky left for Shanghai. Always facile in languages, he learned to write Chinese during the voyage. From 1862 to 1875, he lived in Peking and translated the Bible and parts of the prayer book into Mandarin. After Bishop Williams was transferred to Japan, Skaroshevsky was elected Bishop of Shanghai in 1877 and was consecrated in Grace Church, New York City. He established St. John's University in Shanghai and began his translation of the Bible and other works in Wendley. Stricken with paralysis, he resigned his see in 1883. Skaroshevsky was determined to continue his translation work. And after many difficulties in finding support, he was able to return to Shanghai in 1895. Two years later, he moved to Tokyo. There he died on October 15, 1906. With heroic perseverance, Skaroshevsky completed his translation of the Bible, typing some 2,000 pages with the middle finger of his partially crippled hand. Four years before his death, he said, I have sat in this chair for over 20 years. It seemed very hard at first, but God knew best. He kept me for the work for which I am best fitted. He is buried in the Oyama Cemetery in Tokyo, next to his wife, who supported him constantly during his labor and illness. We continue with the Apostles' Creed found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead on the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the everlasting life. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We continue with Suffrages B, found on page 122 of the Book of Common Prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, 
we entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Samuel, Isaac, Joseph, Skarshevsky, and all your saints entrusting one another and all your life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O God, in your providence, you called Joseph Skarshevsky to the ministry of this church and upheld him in his infirmity, that he might translate the Holy Scriptures into Chinese languages. Inspire us by his example and prayers to commit our talents to your service, confident that you uphold those whom you call through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and this Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the response of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety in the morning hours through him who died and rose again. For us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue with the prayers of intercession. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for our bishops, especially Michael, Sam, and Anne, for this gathering, for all ministers and people, and in the Anglican and Diocesan Cycles of Prayer, the Church of the Province of Uganda, Christ's beloved community, Winston-Salem, St. Anne's Winston-Salem, St. Paul's Winston-Salem. Pray for the Church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, for the leaders of all nations, and for the safety and well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for the sick in our community, especially Becky, Bill, Carol, Chuck, Don, Don, Frank, Jack, Janie, Jenny, Karen, Mary, 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 Maxine, Michael, Pam, Patsy, Richard, Richard, Ron, Sam, Tim, and those we name now. Pray for healing and relief. I ask your prayers for our friends, family, and neighbors, especially Al, Alice, Anna, Anne-Marie, Anna Rose, Audrey, the Barrow family, Becky, Beth, Bill, Bob, Carly, Casey, Kathy, Charlie, Dan, Dean, Diane, Dick, and Don. We lift up Eddie, Ellie, Emma, Faye, Gary, Gemma, George, Harry, Helen, Henry, Jake, James, Jason, Jason, Jalen, Jeanette, Joe, Joe, John, Joseph, Julia, Justice, Karen, and Kathleen. We ask for healing for Catherine, Keith, Kelly, Kelvin, Kenny, Kevin, Leisha, Lori, Madeline, Mary, Matt, Megan, Michael, Michelle, Mimi, Nancy, and Patricia. We pray for Patricia. 
Patricia, Roy, Roy, Sally, Sandy, Sarah, Shannon, Shirley, Skye, Sandra, Spencer, Stephanie, Stephanie, Steve, Tom, Vivian, William, and those we name now. Pray for comfort from affliction. I ask your prayers for all expecting a child, especially Robert and Brianna, and those we name now. Pray for a new life. I ask your prayers for all health care workers, especially those in the Nativity community. Pray for our healers. I ask your prayers for all who have died from COVID-19. I ask your prayers for all the departed, especially Stanley Graham, Charlotte Huckabee, Mark Porter, and those we name now. Pray for the dead. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. Amen. Please join me for prayer of St. Chrysostom on page 126 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, your desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in the world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.